Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. Hi everyone, Fox 61 Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank here on the Weather Watch. Good news is low impact from Hurricane Lee here in Connecticut as the storm passes well to the east. No flooding rain, no coastal flooding issues, and no travel issues unless, of course, you're heading to a Block Island or Nantucket as ferry service could get interrupted. And limited wind gusts, we're thinking right now here in Connecticut, will generally see gusts up between 25 to 35 miles per hour. Maybe some of the higher elevations could get close to 40. And sustained wind, which is just a fancy way of saying consistently blowing anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour right through the day. It is mostly dry, clouds even breaking for some sunshine as we head through the day, especially in western Connecticut. There is a chance for an isolated shower as the storm passes in eastern areas, but a lot of the state will not see any rain from the system. So here's the latest update. This is Hurricane Lee, now downgraded to a Category 1 hurricane, but it still has a pretty large wind field and the storm is expected to pass pass into the Bay of Fundy or on the western shores of Nova Scotia heading into Saturday evening. So the storm will make its closest pass here heading into early on Saturday morning. But again, it'll be so far away from us that we're really not expecting too much here in Connecticut. Heading through the day tomorrow, we will see increasing clouds from the cloud shield that is associated with Hurricane Lee. So we'll be noticing that. But overall, it's a fair day outside as the storm makes its closest pass. Again, this is Saturday morning. There might be a shower or two. Best chance in eastern Connecticut. But again, look, most of the day is dry. And notice as we head towards lunchtime, the storm is already starting to pull away. And by Saturday evening, it's heading closer to Maine. And we're starting to see some breaks in the overcast here close to home. I did want to show you peak wind gusts, especially for our friends to the east, as it does still look like 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts are possible for Nantucket and the Cape. And I just just wanted to show you guys this because I know you might have travel plans. It's looking like a nice weekend here, but not as nice for our friends to the east. And even in Rhode Island, there will be higher gusts than what we're anticipating here in Connecticut as well. You will notice there is a tropical storm watch in effect for the shoreline of Rhode Island. I think that's out of an overabundance of caution. I do not anticipate tropical storm force winds there. However, for Cape Cod and Nantucket, it is a possibility that we get sustained tropical storm force winds, which means blowing consistently at about 40 miles per hour. That is possible heading into later Friday night and Saturday morning and a hurricane watch up for parts of the shoreline of Maine as well. Again, I think this is out of an overabundance of caution. There is a storm surge watch in effect for Cape Cod Bay and also for Nantucket with a two to four foot storm surge possible. They kind of put those numbers up as a reasonable worst case scenario. Luckily, it looks like the worst part of the wind heading into Saturday morning will actually occur during low tide. So that's really going to help out there. And hopefully limit some of the damage. This is mainly going to be on par with a strong nor'easter for our friends to the east. All right, for us back here close to home and here to the now. We're looking at overnight lows in the 50s as we head towards daybreak. It is beautiful out there tonight. Refreshing, keeping those windows open. My husband, I think he opened every window in the house this morning. Tomorrow we'll start the day off with some sunshine. Then we'll see increasing clouds, high temperatures up around 70 degrees. And you might notice a little bit of of wind starting as we head into Friday evening. On Saturday, it will be breezy to windy. We'll see high temperatures climb into the low to mid 70s. We'll start the day off with a lot of clouds, maybe a spot shower in eastern Connecticut, and then we'll break for some sunshine as the day wears on. It might end up being a mostly sunny day for parts of western Connecticut, but it'll take longer for those clouds to break, and they may end up kind of sticking around for much of the day in eastern Connecticut. So it just kind of depends on where you are. And the second half of the weekend looks great. Sunday, we're looking at highs in the mid to upper 70s, mostly sunny skies, and sometimes we get our most beautiful weather the day after a hurricane because hurricanes 
like to exhaust all of the moisture and energy in the atmosphere. So they kind of steal the show and you can get sinking air around hurricanes and that actually provides us with even more in the way of sunshine. Chance for a scattered shower, a thunderstorm on Monday, but overall we're looking at a beautiful stretch of weather after that. Lots of sunshine, seasonable temperatures. As I said before, it looks like September's back after a very humid stretch. Nice and comfy days ahead.